Hello, friends. Uh, Elgato. El Elgato, hello. Hel hello. Why are you not working? <laughs> How are you guys today? Is it going to work? Can y'all hear me? I don't know why my game's not capturing. What is happening? Hello? Hello? You hear me? Thank you. I appreciate you so much. How are you guys today? I don't know. Dragon ass at work. Oh no! I'm sorry. How much longer do you have? Hold on, let me, I'm gonna switch to, I added the just chatting. Maybe it's this, hold on. Uh, mind your ears, friends, if this works, just keep, well, watch your eardrums. Nope, it didn't work. Why is it doing this? You're still at work? Glad to see you live. It's lovely to see you, Lazy. I hope your work is going okay. I don't know why I'm having capture issues. It's very strange. It was working this morning. <laughs> it was working this morning. You see a flicker? Yeah, I don't know why it's doing that. Maybe it's a cable. But it's just odd because I just... I just used my laptop this morning. Let me try. Hi, Anna. How are you? I don't remember which is this one. I literally just did this like a couple hours ago. I'm gonna switch to just chatting while we're here. I wish I could play some music. I might be able to. Let me check. Let me see if Spotify is usable. I don't know, Cobalt might be using Spotify. says he's not at the moment. Huh. All right, can y'all hear music at least? Anna, I will time your ass. I did not mean to switch scenes. It's, it's one of those days, y'all. I didn't get a whole lot of sleep last night. <laughs> I was like, I was like, I'm going to time your ass out. And then I switched scenes by accident. I kind of forgot I was live for a second. I don't know why it's not working. Oop. <laughs> Do you like my Spotify list? <gasps> I fixed it. I fixed it! I'm gonna turn this down a smidgen. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> I was sitting here like what the hell because I didn't like I didn't do anything I didn't the only thing I changed in OBS today was I tried adding the just chatting screen so you know also if the music's too loud let me know if you can even hear it I don't actually know if y'all can hear it um so today's stream is gonna be a little wonky y'all because obviously I'm late uh, I announced that I was probably going to be late many hours ago um but cobalt's 
brother and his brother's fiance um, are supposed, and Cobalt, they're all supposed to arrive at some point. I have no idea what time they're arriving, and if they come, like, when I'm streaming, that I'm going to have to end the stream. So I'm not going to be doing any, like, designing today. I'm just going to, like, just do some chill shit. Um, yeah. <laughs> Wonky is cool. Wonky is cool. I was going to wait till 3 to see if they would, because I texted Cobalt, my headset's crackling. Uh, I texted Cobalt to ask if, like, they were going to be here anytime soon, and he never responded, so I don't know. Oh, Flick is here today. Yay. So I plan on taking a boat ride, and I plan on going to Harv's Island. Um, not sure what else. This is Tommy from Next Granny. 7,200 bells. Wham, wham, wham. Wham, wham, wham. Dude, this little teapot, he's so cute. I love him. What's in the mail? What did I... Oh, that's right! I got art last night, or yesterday. Yesterday? I saw you in my dreams last night. It was crazy! So tell me, were you there on purpose? I thought maybe you have something important to tell me. Like why you were a huge dancing beetle? Oh my god. I would love to be a beetle in real life. <laughs> I'm trying to grow blue roses and I've never done it before. And it's just like, I've been trying to get a purple, well, a couple purples and it's just, I haven't gotten any. Oh man, and then over here I'm trying to get a purple windflower. Let's go turn in this piece of art. At some point the music, like the outside of the Animal Crossing music might get cut off um, if Cobalt is using Spotify at some point, but I figure it said he wasn't using it, so I will steal it for now. How may I be of service? I have a donation. I have a donation. I hope it's real. I, I made sure it was supposed to be real, but... Okay, cool. It's so much more of a gallon statue. <laughs> this is the statue that has the pee-pee. You should treat this donation with the utmost care. Shall us leave details about your donation for all to read once it is on display? Please do check back later. Blathers, you are a treat. Let's go look at it. It's pretty heckin' beautiful. Oh, we could get some coffee, too. Oh my. Oh my. <laughs> it's that one, like, that one statue that's like, you'll, you'll see in a second if I can find it. Hi, Abby. How are you? Nelson Jam? Oh my god, I'm definitely gonna have to hire someone to make that because there's no way in hell that I can make an animated Nelson. <laughs> Where the hell is this statue? Aha! Here it is, friends. Gallant statue. The David... <laughs> yes. 15.04, damn. Coffee, please. Please, dying over here. What kind of coffee do you want? Young David glares at his enemies, sling slung over his shoulder. What? That doesn't look like a glare to me. It took Michelangelo more than three years to sculpt this piece. Close inspection shows heart-shaped eyes, but that's probably meant to depict light hitting them. Hearts didn't have the lovey-dovey symbolism back then that they do today. That's fascinating. I wish I could zoom in on like his facial features and stuff to see the, cause I didn't really notice heart-shaped eyes. Yay! Penis, penis indeed. I had gingerbread coffee today. I bought 
bought a bag and made in the break room. Ooh, was it tasty? This sounds tasty. Oh no, you lost seeds. Oh no, strong coffee work is killing me even though I'm not doing much. That's honestly, I feel that. I, that's a huge heckin' mood. Huge heckin' mood. What, what, what is strong coffee? Like espresso? Oh, we're supposed to be able to buy coffee now too. But I don't know. Well, that's what he said to me yesterday. Listen, if I wanted to zoom in on a dick, I would tell you, I want to zoom in on that dick. I am not shy about that. <laughs> it mentioned the heart-shaped eyes, and I want to, like, you can't see it. <laughs> it was a beautiful dick from what I could see. Nicely shaped, well made, well chiseled as it were. That's the new pickup line. <laughs> I love it, I love it. Let me zoom in on that dick. <laughs> I'm gonna say that to Cobalt later. I'll do just that. With a magnifying, oh no, that took, that took it to a really rude. We don't need magnifying glasses in this house. I'm gonna scroll up, hold on. Not missing anything. Did it have a velvet rope keeping it away from public access? <laughs> the statue? I don't think so. It was just on a big old, like, plinth plaque thing. <laughs> what is a well made one supposed to look like? All dicks. All dicks are beautiful. Shots of espresso. Shots? Multiple? How many, do you drink espresso? How many shots of espresso do you normally drink? I feel like one is a lot, but I also like, I don't drink coffee unless it's, I don't know, like a random Starbucks or something that happens to have coffee. Cause normally when I get Starbucks, it's, it's the uncoffee filled ones. You have an espresso machine? Dope. Do you use it often? Oh, my shovel broke. Well, five shots, damn. You double shot your coffee every day? All of them, are you sure? I am positive. I will always advocate advocate for, for beautiful dicks. <laughs> Same with vaginas. All vagas are beautiful. And I will not take another answer. I need to go buy a shovel before I get ahead of myself. Ma'am? <laughs> we haven't spoken in a while. I miss talking to you. You're such an awesome listener. Aw. You're so cute. Goodbye now. Oh, Flick is in the bath ba bathroom? Background. Da, da, da. Fun fact. Espresso machine... If you order five shots, they make sticks and throw the one shot away. Why? Because at a store, all their espresso machines, when they make doubles. Oh, so they... Oh, that sucks. Oh! That sucks! What a waste of espresso. I hate that. That, like, makes me very sad. Not every day I'm not as young as I used to be, that's fair. <laughs> that's fair. I don't know if I've ever had espresso, if I'm honest. Ooh, a ducky, a toy duck. I don't need a toy duck, but I'm gonna buy a toy duck because I'm an adult. I'm gonna get this shovel. milk frother attachment steamy thing is the fun part it makes funny noises <laughs> you should make a video of it doing the, the weird noises <laughs> I was like, whoosh 
I would love to have an espresso machine for Cobalt. I miss making him coffee. I used to make him coffee every morning. And like, he doesn't, he doesn't want coffee anymore. Like now he just drinks hot tea at work, which is totally fine. I totally stand it. But like, I'm sad because I miss making him. I just like sending him to work with like, special, like, I made you a special coffee, and I made you a special sandwich. Or like, here's the soup leftovers, but I made it with love. You know what I mean? <laughs> Just stupid cute shit. I've got two hours left in this fish. I'm getting coffee. Ooh! Right now, or, or after work? I need to check this thing every day, and I've just been not. Bamboo. Y'all, y'all, I need, I need to, I need to tell you something, I, and it's, it's important. <laughs> um, I am struggling right now because if y'all recall, Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl came out today. Um, some places did a quote-unquote midnight release, so I was able to get my copy last night, and I have not touched it. I installed it, I installed it, but I haven't touched it, and I am fucking dying. It is like torture. <laughs> like absolute torture. I like struggling so bad, and it's just sitting there. <sighs> Maybe he gets anxiety like I do when I have too much coffee. I stopped for a while but realized how much I needed it. Um, that's possible. When he told me he stopped, he said he stopped because he didn't feel like it was like actually doing anything. Um, and now I think he just drinks tea because he likes the taste. My hair is doing weird things. I've been lazy and scooping a third cup of grounds in my cup, boil the kettle, and make cowboy coffee. What's cowboy coffee? Sometimes I can't be bothered to use my K-cup thing or my French press. The French press, like, I've made coffee for Cobalt with, with our press thingy a few times. Um, I don't personally like using it, <laughs> so I don't blame you. But, uh, yeah. What the hell is cowboy coffee? You know, you have to do stop streaming and cancel on your brother-in-law and play that game. Well, no, see, the, the, the reason that I haven't played it yet is because it's, it's one of the subscriber, like, it's in the subscriber vote thing on Discord. And, like, I was, like, really trying to make my first playthrough on stream for that. And I'm, like, I don't, I... Y'all, I don't know if I can make it. I'm still, like, if it wins, I'm still gonna play it, like, starting next week, if it wins. Um, but, like, I'm fucking struggling, because it is just staring me in the face. In the goddamn face. Like, I want my turd twig. Hi, Vandra! Give us trash! Hi, Vandy! I miss you. I've been making hot chocolate. Ooh, hot chocolate. Do you add anything special to it? Cowboy coffee is like a French press, but without pressing it, and the grounds just settle to the bottom, and you don't drink the box at the bottom of your cup. Ew, but what if you accidentally drink some, like when you go to, you know? You know? I don't like, blah, blah, blah. I don't like drinking particles. Why did you leave it up to the people? <laughs> Listen, it's it wasn't like up for them to, to choose like a first playthrough or something It's just that's the game that happened to be winning But I'm gonna be honest like right here and now and y'all can hate me I'm it might not be a first playthrough When we start like if that's the game that wins because I I don't know if I have the strength Because diamond like Gen 4 Was like my favorite gen and I loved Diamond so much. So I'm like, ugh. Abby! <laughs> Marshmallow, ooh, I love marshmallows. I love marshmallows. 
I'm gonna go to Harv's Island. I love marshmallows. Just to eat. <laughs> Are they mini mallows? We got the van to the double D wrist in chat. <laughs> yes, we can't forget that double D. <laughs> I wanna fly like an eagle to Harv's Island. All packed and stuff? Yeah, I'm packed and stuff. Don't forget to drink water, friends. Y'all, I'm fucking tired today. <laughs> to the sea. Hi, Drago. How are you? Y'all. If, if the Vanderjam emote happens to come out, the moment it comes out and I stream, I want that shit to be spammed. In my stream. It's up to Vandy if she wants it spammed. But in my stream, I want that spammed when it's out. If it becomes a thing. <laughs> Somehow still alive? Oh, what have you been up to, Drago? You like the chonky marshmallow? Like the big boys? The big fat ones? I have Swiss Miss hot chocolate in the cabinet, but I haven't had any in a while. Bander Jammer Spammer. <laughs> I want dancing raccoons. Look, it's Tortimer. It's Tortimer. Hold on. I'm gonna. Ooh, I might need. I have this one. I might need that one. I'm on my fourth cup of water and second cup of coffee. I'm glad that you've had more water than coffee. We gotta keep that that balanced. Create a bot trigger for it to post a spam of it. I would love to, but I'm still not trusting OBS right now. <laughs> cause cause I don't um I had to take my emote the emote wall away that I already had. Cause I couldn't be sure that it would like behave, you know? It will definitely be a thing. Fuck yeah! I want all of the Vanderjam spams in my streams. What was I doing? I'm gonna check to see if I have this painting. Uh, maybe there only works for the better Twitch TV emote 70, better Twitch TV emotes, I do not know. I have no idea. I don't have BTTV. I've never used it before, so I'm not sure. Hi, Magni. How are you? I'm stupid. <laughs> Abby, ouch. I'm going to assume that's not what you meant to say. We have a subscription in order to custom emotes. What? <laughs> Dr. Pepper. Oh, I love Whitney's emotes. What is the fake one? God damn it. It's fake. I need this one and it's fake. You're bad voice to text. No, you're okay. <laughs> I would assume coming from your mouth, Abby, that if you were ever actually calling me stupid, it would be for a legitimate reason. <laughs> I'm gonna go talk to Tordmer James. Hey, I've got someone I'd like you to meet, Venus. This is Tortimer. He specializes in delivering and holding your belongings. For why? That's not all I do. Oh my god, his laugh, though. I Speaking of emotes and stuff, um, I, I need to work on emotes, like, a lot. Um, and I, this isn't the official announcement. The official announcement won't happen until I can provide actual dates of a starting point. Um, but... At some point, I am planning on reducing my streams to Monday, Wednesday, uh, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, um, just for a little while so that I have Thursdays and Fridays to like have my mental health breaks if I need them. 
um, work on my emotes because I'm really, really behind on making emotes. Um, work on overlay shit, hang out in people's streams a bunch more, just all of that stuff. So that will be happening at some point. Um, I will post an official announcement once I have dates, but it's probably going to be a while because it's gonna, it's not going to happen until I finish whatever game we play next. Um, but just a heads up, because I can't work on shit anymore before stream like I used to, so I have to kind of accommodate. <laughs> Gib Twitch! Gib Twitch, how are you today, Magni? That's not all I do. I was mayor when this one here was still wearing doggy diapers. Anyway, the name's Tortimer, and I suppose Harv here is correct. I'm here to manage your belongings. Whether you're sending them to your house or receiving them from who knows where, I'm your tortoise. I just couldn't stay retired, not with whippersnappers out here making me feel old. I'm still in my prime. Anyhow, see you around, kiddo. I told old Tortimer that he was welcome to just relax and enjoy the place, but, well, you can see he had different ideas. Good luck with everything, and I'll see you around. Tortimer James! More days without chai, unless you sip and switch. <laughs> yeah. Nintendo, but I'm just... Yeah, I, it's not gonna be a... Because I, I would much rather have my five days a week of streaming. Um, it's just gonna be, like, a temporary change for a little while, so that I can, like, as I said, have my mental health breaks... Um, also have plenty of time to work on emotes and stuff because I can't do shit on the weekends either so you know <laughs> I was like how can I make this work and that was really the only thing I could think of however that being said um, when that does happen I'm probably gonna make the Monday Tuesday Wednesdays Wednesday streams a little bit longer like four hours maybe five on a good day <laughs> So we'll technically like still be hanging out lots. It's just not going to be for as many days for a little bit. You're a little drunk. Oh no. Drink responsibly. <laughs> I'm glad you're doing good otherwise. I'm good. I'm very tired. Um, with Cobalt's in-laws here visiting, uh, it's been it's been really fun because I, I like I've never really had a chance to hang out with his brother. Um, and I just absolutely adore his fiance. Like she is just so heckin' cute. Um, so that, but we've been out late a lot. And then I, we come home and I stay up even later reading. So I'm very tired, but I'm still good though. Yay for mental health! I know. I, uh, I've been so bad at it, Uchiha. Yesterday was. <laughs> I was very glad I did not stream yesterday, friends, because before I made that announcement, I was in a very bad mood <laughs> for literally no reason, which, you know, <gasps> I'm going to donate to this, this one next because I like getting all the fancy shoes and stuff from this guy. You need all the scented candles and surround yourself with a bunch of crystals and just sit and meditate. That sounds lovely. I love that. Hello, yummy rocks. How are you today? Welcome in. It's lovely to meet you. Man, I actually need to stock up on candles. I have plenty of tea lights. Um, but as for like scented candles and stuff, we're we're lacking. <laughs> I want to get the 2500, read me a story, but I'm at 500. Oh no, you'll get there. You'll get there. The read me a story happens fairly often. Oh, <laughs> there you go. Abby chose read me a story. Would y'all like it from shelf one through five or would you like it from my Kindle app? Abby, you're such a nice bean. What a good bean. Let's see what our fortune is. Only I, Katrina, can see it. I see your truth. I will reveal it to you for just a thousand bells. Running helps you with your mental health. I love that. Uh-oh. OBS is struggling. 
I love that. I exercising kind of heckin' stresses me out. <laughs> Let's do friendship. It's good. It's lovely to meet you too. I just got off of work, so now it's time for me to relax and catch up on some reading. Ooh, what are you gonna read? What kind of genre do you usually go for? Who do I want to check with? Let's check with Apple. Ow. I'm itching my leg. Now please close your eyes. Okay, I have to turn my headset down. By the way, <laughs> I don't know if it worked, but I've reset up the host alerts. And if they're not working, I legitimately have no idea why. Story. Do you, so um, for story time, you can pick from either shelves one through five, or you can pick from my Kindle app, and then I choose a random one. It doesn't work, motherfucker. <laughs> I don't understand why they're not working. Struggling. Damn it. And sitcoms help too, that's fair. Well, thank you guys for hosting. I don't know why it's, I literally tried to fix that today. I have no idea why they're not working. I'm mad. I see many faces before me. You smile, you frown, your eyes seem puffy, perhaps from a wasp sting, oh no. From this vision is clear that many memories of you swirl about in the curious mind of Apple. <gasps> we have a strong bond. I love that you could see her in the crystal ball. That was cute as fuck. Begs for Noodle Star. I have to do that from my phone. Hello? There we go. <laughs> Thank you for following Yummy Rocks. It's lovely to have you here. I don't know if I'll be- fuck my life. I spelled her name wrong. I gave her triple D's. <laughs> Thank you for the sip. Shelf two? All right, we'll get it from shelf two. I'm gonna scroll up real quick and then... I don't have a specific genre I read, I just read whatever I get my hands on, but I found a book someone had left behind at work, so I'm reading it. Ooh. What's what's been the the best book you've read lately that you gave five stars to? And what's the current book that you said you found? I don't know which one's better. Three three are good, four to five is hit or miss. Same with Kindle. <laughs> Abby knows that good, good. All right, we will do shelf two. Hi, Rick James. Can you make one request? It depends on the. It depends on the request. Thank you for shouting people out. Um, I will be right back. I will pick from shelf two. I'll be right back, friends. Don't go anywhere. Okay. Oh. 
Oh, I need to pop my back, y'all, and it just ain't happening. So this is the book I chose. If you can see it, I've never read it before. I'm gonna scroll up in chat and then we'll do story time. All I ask is that you stand up, stretch, walk around. Ow! Just make sure you take care of yourself on stream. It's all because I, I care about you. Aw, I care about you too! That's really sweet! I, you know, I... I'm not going to promise that I will do those things because not that I don't want to, it's I just forget. Um, but if folks want to remind me, that's fine too. <laughs> I will I will promise that I will do my best to be better at it though. <laughs> If she does a four hour plus stream, we will have to make her take a break, right? <laughs> Whenever I do longer streams, I, I try to like remember to take breaks, but that's, dude, sometimes time just flies by really fast. All right, so this book is called Dragon Champion. It's book one of the Age of Fire. Oh, y'all, let me know. Let me know if this gets any louder when I switch scenes. I added the just chatting scene. Let me know if it gets louder, ready? Did it get any louder? It's kind of quiet right now. Currently reading an unexpected Amish Harvest by Carrie Light. It's a love inspired inspirational romance. Oh, that sounds cute. That sounds cute. <gasps> it's, the, it's the same? Yay. But my audio is filtered. That's fine. I am so excited right now because if y'all recall, this has been an issue we've had for many years. I'm kidding. Yay! I don't have to fiddle with it anymore. Fuck yeah. GG to you, lazy. So here's the book. I've never read an EE Night book. I've heard good things. It's this thick. It's like, you know, so we're gonna flip to a random page for story time. My favorite book, my favorite book is Al Hazred by Donald Tyson. What's your favorite book? Everyone tell me your favorite books. I actually have the Necronomicon down here still. All right, I landed on page 58, 58. It starts like this. Some magicker might want his bones, but that won't replace your stolen sheep after we've had our cut. She spoke into his ear, her tone soft, but he couldn't understand the words. One sounded like it might be C, but he couldn't be sure. She looked up again and returned to her conversation. I can't bear seeing any creature tortured, even dragons. The others just shook their heads and laughed. The sea, Orin had heard of it, had seen his parents' visions of soaring above its jagged coastline on their mating flight. His first real sight of it was as a choppy bay seen through the angled bars of a cage. It was mostly obscured by something made of wood, the size of a full-grown dragon floating upside down with its claws pointing in the air. Two trees grew out of the center of the construct, but they were stripped bare of branch, tw twig, and leaf. It must be a ship, the wooden wings that hominids used to cross water. <laughs> I guess this is from a dragon's perspective. Shirtless men in loose pants stood around waiting to pull on lines or help dwarves carry more constructs on board. All around was man-laid stone, man-cut wood, man-flattened earth. Only the birds retained their natural shape, though Orin wondered if men colored them white to make them more pleasing to the eye against the bright sky. He smelled the ocean and he didn't like it. It smelled like rotted fish and stagnant marsh, overlaid with salt. Four dwarves picked up his cage, one at each corner, and walked up a ramp to the ship. Orin's limbs had more mobility. He had lost weight during the wagon ride, and his circulation flowed more freely. It was the closest he had been to comfortable since capture. As he passed along the deck, Orin got his first look at the limitless horizon of the sea, a precise line dividing the world in two. 
They set Orin down on deck and he felt the surface move in the harbor. It was a pleasant feeling, bringing memories of his dreams of flight. Take the dragon below, he heard the now familiar voice of Hazel Eye order. What, to the hold? He's riding on deck with the horses. We have enough cleaning to do as is. That's the end of the page. <laughs> That's the end of the page. The end of the page, right there. That was page 58 of E.E. E. Knight's Dragon Champion, book one of the Age of Fire. And that was story time. This is what it looks like. The, the cover's got like a muted yellow tone to it, if that's of any help. Um, I'll take a picture of this book and post it to the Discord after stream. Um, yeah. That sounds like a good book. Yeah, I think so too. I've had it for a while. I actually bought it brand new with a gift card. <laughs> it's pretty thick. It's not like, it's not like sort of truth thick, but you know, there's 371 pages in here it looks like, so it's fairly short, at least compared to that series. Thank you for the story time. I hope that was enjoyable. I'm gonna set it here for now. We heckin' love story time. Forgot how to work my shit for a second. I'm gonna switch back to gameplay. Boop. And drink some chai. I don't really understand... Tortimer's point here. Like, do I buy- is it for me to buy stuff here and then he sends it to the island or something? I don't know if you caught the name earlier, but I'm Tortimer. And you are? Venus. It's a pleasure to meet you, Venus. Now, contrary to what some of the youngins might think, there's still a bit of get up and go under this shell. <laughs> could a fossil run a delivery service? No, it could not. <laughs> if you want to put something into your storage or take something out, come to me and I'll get you fixed up. Pretty nifty, eh? Retirement's dull and this keeps me busy. Anywho, you swing by whenever you like, Sprout. Oh, he called me Sprout! Alright, it's not gonna let me do multiple, multiple things. So I'm gonna go either home or to work, depending on where it lets me go. We're gonna go to the DLC island so that I can get the bottle. Hi, Dogu! Tortimer is in this game. Um, he wasn't before. They they put him in with the new update that came out fairly recently. I like Harry Potter. Didn't want to say it in middle of story. Oh, you can say it in middle of story. <laughs> I love Harry Potter. Do you have a Hogwarts house? I'm Slytherin. Oh, cool. Yeah, dude. It. I. This is my first encounter with Tortimer, and I like already love him. I just think he's adorable. Dogu, what are you up to? What you doing this weekend? Oh my god. Who is this pink horse? This is the DLC con- What's this bottle? Ursula. Rope net flooring? Rope net flooring. Just doing some relaxing here. Nice. Nice. What did you do today? I need to add this into my- my app. Rope net flooring. Learn. Weird. Uh, no. Be right back. No worries. <laughs> no worries. Who all is on the island today? Oh, he's cute! Who is this person? <laughs> Nothing really, that's fair. <laughs> Honestly, same. Oh god, I did, um, I did clean one of my tarantula's cages this morning. I got a couple pictures of him. His name is Theodore. He's the IRL Theodore. Coco Cafe. Who do we have in here that I don't recognize? That koala person, that pig, and that chicken over there that looks anxious. Why is that chicken anxious? Eh. Eh. Chicken? 
This tea smells so good. Oh my god, his name's Egbert. <laughs> I learned that lesson after I had to spend a week with my tongue in bandage. Oh my god, that's so drastic. Oh, I love my little cafe. I've, I've seen many that are like a thousand times better. <laughs> But mine's so cute. It's so simple. My little cocoa cafe. I still need to go on an island tour. So maybe I'll do that real quick. What was that other DIY I had? Oh. It don't matter. Alright, we're gonna go home and then we're gonna go on our boat tour with Cap'n. Cap'n. Yes. Take me home to the Paradise City. <laughs> can y'all see Larry? But oh my god, he's so cute. He's sleeping. I don't think you can see his full body, but I promise you, it's heckin' cute. I'm all congested again. Man. Boop. Boop. <laughs> Boop. All right, let's go on a tour. We're going on a trip in our favorite rocket ship. I don't remember the rest of the- Oh wait, should I find my bottle first? My beach bottle? These are potatoes and sugar cane. I'm actually gonna look for my bottle first before I go on the boat tour. Cause it's only gonna take me a second. Dude, look at my outfit! It's just so cute. Got my little adventurer shit. I thought about changing it earlier, but I wasn't feeling any new vibes. Any new outfit vibes. Oh, we should, oh my God. Okay, I'm getting ahead of myself. Check for the bottle first, and then we'll check the store, the clothing shop, and then, hi, what? You gave her just one seed. Pile of cardboard boxes. How did I not know that yet? Very strange. Very, very strange. Sure she's still not a trank number 69? I thought she was. I thought she was. Or did it change? Lady of the Wood, I'm really enjoying the content. Love the positivity, love the chill vibes. These are the streams I look for at the end of the day after a long day of work, just need a new place to relax. Aww, yummy rocks, that's really sweet. Dude, that, like, that's exactly what I want out of my streams, is just a place for folks to vibe and like hang out and relax. So I'm, I'm glad to have you here. I hope we can continue to provide that relaxing coziness for you. Thank you for the sip. I've got, oh no, it's stuck. I've got my water back here. Sorry for the gulp. It happened, it just do be like that sometimes. I think I have ah! most of these. But if she earns seeds while she's in here. Oh, gotcha. I'm thrilled to be here. I'm thrilled to have you. You seem very nice. Very lovely. I do have a chai. It's right here. In a Starbucks cup. Thank you, Abby. It bonked my glasses. Did you see that? Damn, I'm trying to, there's this like new hairstyle that I saw on Twitter and um, apparently they sell it at Abel's and I've been hoping that I could find it but they just haven't had it. Yeah, I usually have a, sh a chai in most streams. Normally by like three o'clock my time they're gone but I did start late today. How do I, can I run with one hand? Yes. Cap'n! 
<laughs> you guys are so cute. Round tour. Let's go. Yummy, do you play Animal Crossing as well? Theodore. Oh, my neck popped. You can see the weird looking rim. Bleh. I'm so excited. I love Cap'n. He's so heckin' cute. So heckin' cute. <laughs> that metal cup holder is so heckin' loud against my cup. Larry's pet. I love Cap You can see a little drawing from one of his kids in his boat. That's so cute. You hear that, friends? Reach for your dreams. That's what Cap'n says. I'm gonna scoot in and then lean back and hope that I don't freak out. <laughs> Leaning back in this chair always freaks me out because it feels like it's gonna, like, Go backwards. <gasps> oh my god, is this what I think it is? Oh my god, is this what I think it is? <gasps> oh my god! 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 Eh. It's the fucking Star Island! I've been hoping for this! Yay! Give me stars! Look! <gasps> my eye is burning. Why is my eye burning? <gasps> no, I forgot how to do it! <laughs> Free shot. We're gonna, we're gonna just sit here and make wishes. Damn it, that was not a good screenshot. I'm so excited. Come on, come on, come on. Give me more stars. Ow. I've been trying to get this island for, I, th I was only going at night because I thought that you had to go at night. I didn't realize it would just switch to night. <laughs> That's fucking awesome. It's a wishing star. Yeah, you actually make wishes on it. It's so cute. I need to hit the rocks too because they give you goodies. More, more stars? More, more good noodle stars? That bug's just crawling around. He's just hanging out. I scared him. Here's our gyroid fragment. Boop. I wonder what that one's gonna turn into. I've... I was like, I have the hiccups, and then I just started yawning. Um. I'm gonna I'm gonna hit the rocks real quick with my shovel. Yes! Oh my god. Oh, I wasn't quick enough. <gasps> this is amazing! I'm so excited! <laughs> I want a rock hound one day looking for geodes and crystals. That would be really cool. That would be super cool. Cobalt does stuff like that sometimes. <gasps> They're even on the beach! Oh my god. I'm losing my mind. All these vines? I might take the vines. No! Crap. I fucked up this rock. I fucked it up, y'all. 
Welcome back. How's it going? I'm sad. I was, I was using the shovel because I wasn't sure if my um, axe would have enough. I think there's only a couple of rocks on the island. Damn it. I ruined it. That's okay. I know a trick for the rock. Hi, kitty. How are you? A trick for the rocks. Is it the, the dig in the hole thingy? Or is there another one? I've tried the digging the hole thing in the past, but I don't I don't hit the things fast enough. Crap, I'm missing shooting stars. I scared the wharf roaches. Is that what it is? Damn it, I was hoping there was another one. <laughs> yeah, I uh I like I've tried doing that a few times and I just my character just slips to the side and like it's still I can't get it to work. I don't think I'm doing it properly though. Does it work really well for you? And then mash the shovel. Why can't I do it? Do you dig two holes and stand between them? Between them? No, I haven't done that. I uh I was doing it like in a line. It was like three holes I tried and then I, well first I tried one hole and that worked okay. And so I tried two holes and like, and then I tried three and it just was like slide. I'm gonna try to watch my laptop screen to get stars while I catch up on chat. Kitty, how have you been? Can you try to say something in my language? Um, maybe? I don't know. I don't really do well with speaking other languages. So, <laughs> is there like a proper, well obviously there's a proper way to pronounce it, but like is there a way to spell that out to help me pronounce it? And also, what does that mean? Because I don't want to say something if it could mean something bad. I do two next to each other, and the knockback puts me between the two of them. So I usually get nine things. Oh! So when you say two next to each other, do you mean like, like one hole and then a space and then a hole? Hi, Justin! Still working, you want to share my Animal Crossing hot take. It's just Sims, but for furries. How dare you? <laughs> How dare you? It's not just Sims for furries. Animal Crossing is like so cool. So much better than Sims. I'm kidding. I love The Sims, but Animal Crossing doesn't give me glitches. <laughs> Justin, I hope your work goes okay today. I've been chilling. How are you doing? I've been good. I've been good. Have you been playing any Animal Crossing at all? Like immediately next to each other. That way you can kind of get stuck between them. See, that's one of the methods that I've tried. I thought you were talking about like a space. I wonder if I just wasn't standing correctly between them or something. Long enough to get everything out. Giggity. Shit, maybe I'll try it on one of my own rocks on my island. I Honestly, I might have just been standing like in the wrong spot. Done my teasing and being a pain work is fantastic. <laughs> Justin, we love you. Double star. Ooh, my tummy just made a weird noise. Did y'all hear that? Sometimes the angle can be a little weird. That, that fucking figures. Yeah, it's probably, uh, it's probably just me not doing well. <laughs> You're always on Animal Crossing. Have you gotten the, the DLC? Oh, you, you touched my tra la, -la. Mm, my ding -ding -ding -dong. Ding -dong. <laughs> Just to do the best. <laughs> no, I missed a star. I say something nice this time, it means love you. If I Google that, I'm not saying I don't believe you, but like, 
I don't know other languages, and so I'm I'm kind of wary about saying things in other languages now. Because I have been trolled in the past. But I love you too. <laughs> you have? Do you love it? I'm, I'm a little bit obsessed with it, I'm not going to lie. I don't want to leave this island. It gives me stars. I'm going to drink some water. I made sure today that my water wasn't like super duper cold, so now it doesn't, it's not like uncomfortable on my teeth. I'm gonna get two more stars or wishes and then I'm gonna head back to my farm. My farm? <laughs> my uh, island, wow. Wow. I am, I'm always going to work just to buy stuff. That's fair, oh my God, thank you. You just reminded me that I need to go check their inventory. <laughs> How many houses have you decorated? I think I've only done like 12. Not not too many. How many did I say I was gonna do? Two? What was that, three? Four? Okay, let's go. <laughs> if I don't stop now, I never will. Actually, before I go, I'm going to take these vines. Because they're, they're free for the taken, so why I cannot. I'm so glad we made it to the Star Island. I've been trying so hard to get this goddamn island and just was not appearing. It just was not appearing. 21, damn. That's a lot. Which one's been your favorite so far? I think my favorite so far has been Maple, but she's also my favorite villager. So like, I feel like that's, that makes sense. I want to do more homes for my actual villagers too. Cause after, I, oh, I never showed y'all, y'all Sprinkles house did I? Her vacation home that I made. I'll do that too. Yay. Hey, I'm gonna go home now. There's no return in here later. I swear it means I love you. It's just very funny when Americans try to pronounce Farsi words. I'm not saying I don't believe you. I'm just saying, um, I am kind of on guard now with uh, folks trying to get me to say shit because you never know. It indeed does. I googled it. Abby, I appreciate you. I appreciate you. Look at how fast the, the light changed. How do you... Here, wait. Let me scroll up. See, I'm on... I don't know because... <laughs> I'm looking at the letters and the words and I'm like, are they like hard letters or soft letters? A bunch of folks, I used to have a redeem to try to like get me to read shit in a different language and it was like very tiring. So I was like, I don't want to read stuff anymore. That isn't in English. <laughs> Cause I only know English, not that like I would love to learn another language, but I don't know any other languages. I've been feeling like I've been getting the same island when I go on tour with him. Really? You haven't gotten anything new? Have you tried doing like different times in the day? I don't think that that's like a guaranteed change or anything, but you never know. Dun, dun, dun. Rolled? Swole? Craft? Star wand? Do I already know this? I do know the star wand. Look at these fragments! Did I get any Sagittarius? Yes! I am so excited. I'm gonna go put those in my house and bury this gyroid. I can't move. That's not the best place for that. I'm gonna bury him in front of the mushroom. Hi, potato, how have you been? You have tried it? Damn, I wonder why it's giving you the same ones. I'm sorry. I was kind of feeling like that for a little bit. Um, and then I started landing on islands with like veggies and shit. So maybe it'll change for you soon. Mayhaps, mayhaps. 
Mine? It's Animal Crossing. Why? What's wrong with it? It's a very nice game. It's very chill. Very calming. I have so much shit. I need to go drop those. All right, we're gonna go back to work. You hope so? I hope so too, I'm sorry. I've only been to two like veggie islands um, and I think three special islands technically. So I haven't had like a, a ton of luck necessarily. But I definitely still keep trying cause, cause you never know, it might change sometime, you know? Take me to work. <laughs> His little colored pencils. I've been okay-ish. I was sick and had quite a lot going on, but I'm good now. How have you been? Oh, and by the way, I put up the shelves. <gasps> oh, do you have do you have pictures? Would you be willing to take pictures? You totally don't have to. But that's fucking awesome. I'm so excited. I'm sorry you were sick. You poor thing. I hope you're feeling better. I'm, I'm glad to hear that um, you're doing good now. But my goodness, being sick sucks. It is awful. No matter what kind of sickness, it's just, just bogus. <laughs> Don't work too hard, Kay. Island life is meant to be relaxed. I haven't even worked today. Or yesterday. <laughs> Much better now, thanks. I'm glad. I'm glad. You don't deserve to be sick. Nope, nope, nope. Nope, nope, nope. How many books did you pair with your shells? Shells? Shells. <gasps> Hello? Powder room booth? I don't need it, but I'm gonna buy it. Also, this shelf thing? Nordic shelves? What the hell are these? Tissue boxes? Stacked shoe boxes. I'm not gonna buy those. Even though- ugh, Fuck it, yes I am. I lied. I, I just lied straight to your face. I'm totally gonna buy them. <laughs> what time is it for you guys? Uh, for me it is 3.10pm or 15.10 if that's more helpful. What time is it for you, Magni? I keep turning off my switch there and forget to go back to my island. Oh my god. <laughs> I've done that before, too. It's kind of jarring when it, like... Because then, then it's like, it's a new day. I think six. <gasps> Ooh, it's like the, the special, the chosen ones. I love that. 2310? Damn, it's late for you. Almost heckin' midnight, y'all. Well, I'm gonna collect the vines from the this island eventually, but I don't know. Should I try to decorate something? I'm worried that the moment I start trying to decorate something, cobalt's gonna show up. Oh, y'all wanna see some? Here, let me show you Sprinkles' house. It's 1:41 for you. Damn. You're up so late. Are you not sleepy? Are y'all not sleepy? Do y'all normally stay up late? The showroom has been added. Enter the showroom with a D-pad to view other players' designs and share your own online. No. <laughs> no. Oh, here's Coco's. Um, which ones have I done off stream? So I did this one off stream and I did this one off stream and this one I believe and this one 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 <laughs> here let's go to Coco Coco's is kind of basic I, I kind of was unsure how to decorate her house
I know, but I like staying up, though. My morning self doesn't appreciate it. <laughs> That's a goddamn mood. That's a goddamn mood. Oh, you probably wake up so sleepy. I tend to stay up a little late, too. Not that late, usually, unless I, like, actually can't sleep. Here is Coco's front yard. Um, I wanted to put stuff under the gazebo, but it doesn't let you, so. But she's got a vegetable patch back here. Do y'all have insomnia? Here's her flowers, her special orange flowers. I feel like, I, so Panda has Coco and uh, Panda also has amazing orange hair. And so I was like, I'm gonna give Coco a bunch of orange things. So I gave her a bunch of orange flowers and actual orange trees. It's the perfect spot for me to get cozy and read books under my favorite lamp. I got a little something for you, doyoing. Fucking. <laughs> Her catchphrase is doyoing. <laughs> And her hands look like wieners. Oh my god. Coco, I love you. I normally sleep at 5 or 6 in the morning. You all have insomnia? Oh no. I'm sorry. Here's Coco's house. She's got uh, bookshelves and... I put butterflies flying around her basket and her little bed area. And that's it. She has to squeeze, but she can still get there. <laughs> this is Coco's house. I was feeling kind of uninspired. Not uninspired, just not creative. Have y'all gotten any of the new villagers yet? On your islands or in the DLC? I'm gonna, let's do Sprinkle next. Ow. I don't have insomnia, thankfully. I did deal with insomnia for a little while though. A long time ago. Why did it put me back in there? Why would it put me inside? I don't wanna go inside. I think that once I'm done um, showing off a few more homes, I'm gonna call it a stream. That way I don't have to risk Cobalt and family members showing up in the middle of stream, hopefully. <laughs> Just an FYI. But we'll go on little house tours for the next like 15 minutes. Castle of Cold. Right next to hell there's a place called Heron where everyone is demons. Let's not say stuff like that here, please. Not okay. You live there. <laughs> Look, here's Sprinkles. Look. This is Sprinkles' little home paradise. She, she wanted everything to be cold. Um... So, you know, oh my god, he's wearing earmuffs. Sprinkle! Of my appreci- Some ice flooring? Fuck yeah! Her little snowman. And then this is the inside. Oh no, yeah, I don't- I don't want that kind of stuff on my chat, y'all. Whether, like, folks live there, like, that are- here or not I just don't want that kind of because it's it's just not okay <sighs> it's like an ice palace um, I gave her a little bathroom over here and she's conveniently in the bathroom her little tub she's got her comfy bed heckin statues um, this is the area where you can buy ice cream and stuff and you can heck and watch TV and eat eat and drink your frozen treats. Yeah. It's uh I also have an AC. 
over the thing. A fact about here. If it's going to come across derogatory in some way, then no. If it's something like neat and interesting and that, you know, like uplifting, then that's fine. I'm not saying you can't talk about where you live. I'm not, I don't want stuff like that talked about like any state or country talked about in a derogatory manner. <laughs> Pretending to be Australian. Speaking of Australia, I feel like this is not a very common thing because there's like giant spiders and stuff, but I would love to go to Australia one day. It's interesting. Okay. Shoot. <laughs> <laughs> You're uplifting. <laughs> You're breathtaking. Yummy rocks. You're heckin' awesome. Holy shit. I just lost my bearings for a second. Why did they do that? They just had me coming out of the building. It's like we warp from the boat to the building. <laughs> Ow. Oh, that was my, uh, that was my knee. <laughs> I hit my knee on my desk. There we go. I had to switch how I was sitting. Um, oh, I was supposed to show y'all Gail's house too. Let's go to Gail's house. Feelings mutual. You're so nice. You're so nice. What other games do you play and stuff? Or like other hobbies do you have? Here we are at Gail's vacation home. Gail asked for like, what did she tell me she wanted? I can't remember. My home on the prairie. So I gave her like, she's got a little campsite in the wheat fields for some reason. <laughs> um, I'm still really upset that you can't plant anything under the pergolas, but like, it is what it is. Or whatever that thing's called. I think it's called a pergola. There's a bunch of these weeds with cute little flowers. She's got her little vegetable garden. There's a weed there. I don't remember placing that there. Oh, she's spritzing her topiaries. I'm so excited. I love Gale. Gale was on my island for quite a while, actually. Ah, and then here's her little house. It's very basic. Um, hers kind of stumped me because, like, I think at the time I couldn't use partitions yet. Um, she wanted this pile of leaves, which is totally fine, but I was just really stumped. So hers is just very basic. Everything's against the wall. <laughs> But it's cute though, it's like a little cottage. And it's it's totally her colors. She got a little birdhouse, can you? Oh, I was hoping something would come out of the birdhouse. I love these, look how realistic this pile of leaves looks. With the, the leaf veins and stuff, oh my god! She's sitting in a rocking chair. What can I help you with? How are things in your home? Being here sort of reminds me of escape rooms. It's kind of fun, don't you think? It's escape rooms? Are you going to try to escape from your vacation home, ma'am? I have questions. How's your home? It's fantastic. Is there something in particular you're wondering about? No. No, no, no. I didn't know I could do that. You think it looks cute, though? Thank you. I think it does, too. It's just definitely a more basic design than some of the other ones, huh? 24 degrees Celsius. Is that hot? I don't know Celsius. 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 I know Fahrenheit. 30 degrees Celsius is like what, 80 or 90 degrees or something Fahrenheit? Hi, Zed! How are you? How's it going? Sir? What's today? Sir? Sir? I need to get you something. And you're not allowed to say no, okay? Let's head home. Have something called a we don't go to work, school for a month. All the family gatherers around the table. 
So I am starting with the words we call it half sin. Fascinating. Is that like a it happens once a year or is it multiple times a year? No, yes, huh? Yes, huh, sir? Yes, huh? <laughs> uh huh. Mm hmm. It's about 75 Fahrenheit. Oh, the 24 degrees? That sounds rather nice. That sounds too cool for a prairie. Maybe I'm mixing up prairie and desert in general, to be honest. The desert is all I've ever known, unfortunately. Where else should we go? Um, <laughs> the exclusive club. Who did I? House of green furniture. My tummy just made a weird noise again. Hmm. Here, we'll go to the House of Green Furniture one. That's Azalea's. After this one, oh my god. She needs more stuff in her yard. <laughs> I might come back at some point and put more stuff in her yard. Um, I think after Azalea's house, I might find someone to raid. Because I don't want to risk, as I said, Cobalt and stuff like coming in during stream cobalt and family members <sighs> so tired I, sorry <laughs> I was like mindlessly running through these because look look at their little spores they're so cute <laughs> Azalea what can I do for you how are things it's such a chore taking care of the yard. I'm sure it's easy for you, but I've never been one for manual labor. Oh no! Oh no! What does that mean? Do I need to change her yard? Is it because of these? Does she not like these? Oh no, I think we have an unhappy person. Well, Cobalt and Co. <laughs> Literally. Literally, because, and I, t like, I told him, I was like, when y'all are getting ready to head over, please let me know so that I can, like, because I get real fucking anxious when people come to my house, or, well, no one's come to my house yet, but, like, when we lived in the apartment, at least, um, I always get, like, really antsy, so, so I'm like, please let me know that they're coming so I can, like, prepare my psyche. <laughs> um... But yeah, but he hasn't messaged me yet, so I'm like, when? <laughs> when are you coming? I need to know. <laughs> Your island looks so cute now. Thank you! This isn't my island, unfortunately. It's the DLC, but I'm gonna take that compliment regardless. <laughs> uh, we hold hands around the table and sing songs and share story and eat after. That's cute. That's really cute. How's that for uplifting? That's perfect. <laughs> uh, I love that. That's so wholesome. Ow. I want to sing songs while I eat my food. <laughs> I technically, sometimes I already do. You're going to go to sleep now. No worries, potato. I hope you sleep well. I hope you have lovely dreams. And I hope I see you again soon. And no more getting sick. Okay. It's not allowed. I said so. Um, I put a ton of vines and moss stuff. She wanted green furniture, and I, for some reason, my mind went plants, <laughs> plants. So she just has a bunch of plants as her green furniture. But this is her cute little house. A lot of these houses were done before I got upgrades to like make them longer. Uh put partitions and stuff so I may end up changing a bunch of them later on if I have the mood for it I guess I don't know but I still like her greenhouse also that carpet is so cool all right friends um yeah I don't really have, I guess I could show off the others, but I don't really have much to show off. Haven't seen anything on the DLC yet. Oh, do you have it? 
Dude, Zed, the DLC has been so nice. It's like all I ever do now in Animal Crossing is the DLC stuff. I just decorate vacation homes. Oh my god. She's doing something to the glowing moss. She's like poking at it. I feel bad. I, I don't think she likes her, her glowing moss. Oh no. Did I fail? <laughs> Did I fail? Will she say that to me again if I ask her? When I first came to the spot, it was with you. Oh, look at me getting nostalgic. Oh, she's cute. All right. <laughs> Bye, Azalea. My nose is itchy. I'm gonna look at who's on. Oh God, my phone's gonna die. Uh-oh. <gasps> Kenny's on. Twitch controls a tank. Oh my God, Kenny, what are you getting up to? <laughs> Why does it, I, Nintendo, I have words. I have words. Was there anything else I forgot to do? I was just doing menial tasks. You guys have Christmas and Halloween, you guys win. Well, we do have those. <laughs> but technically, even if it's just like in the sanctity of your, your bedroom or something, you could celebrate that on your own too. By the way, by the way, by the way, look at him! He's doing a little jig! Oh, I'm gonna see if anyone's dancing and exercising back here. Or floating. Sometimes they float in the sea. <gasps> She's playing with a ball. I've gotta go in like, I don't know, not long. No worries, that's okay. I'm actually- oh my god, what are they doing? Oh my god, Maple! Um, I'm actually gonna be heading off soon as well. Um, as I said, I just need to find someone to raid. I might raid flame. I love flame. So you just make more hours on the DLC? No, I don't have it. Zed, you, you gotta get it. If you had it, would you play it? Or are you not into Animal Crossing anymore? Uh, just make more hours. Yes, um, I ha how many hours do I have? Whoops. I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> how many hours? Hours. I didn't mean to do that either. Do I have? I whoops. I have. How do I operate this? That many. Um. And uh. Yeah. So, so, so some some of those have been in the DLC. Let's be honest. At least five hundred of those hours though were way before the DLC came out. And my Stardew Valley, oh god, I'm ashamed. Not really, I'm actually kind of proud. <laughs> the alligator is the cutest thing ever, right? Isn't she co- she's so cute. I love Gale. Look at her. She's just bouncing the ball. I'm so glad that she showed up on the DLC island because like I let her go and I've been kind of regretting it because I love her. So when I when she came back and she was like, I want a vacation home, I was like, of course you can have a vacation home. <laughs> I love the game, but no, I don't have it. Have you been playing recently? Zed. Zedicus. Zul Surrender. Zed. What the hell? What the hell? I have a bunch of DIYs if you need anything. I love this pink horse. Peaches! <laughs> Getting ready to a place like this once in a while is important. It helps you forget the bustle of everyday life. That's so cute. I only have one game on Steam with more than 500 hours. Really? Which which game is it? All right, let me look at Twitch. I don't know how long Flame's gonna be streaming. Flame's doing, um, he's playing Dark Souls, which obviously is kind of a jump from Animal Crossing, but, um, he's playing with one of those wheel controls, um, and he's amazing, and he's, he's just really cool, he's very nice, he's a very good bean, um, and he is wearing an amazing hat today, <laughs> but he's, so yeah, so he's playing Dark Souls with one of those, those wheelie controller things, and it's been a blast to watch him do it and he also uploads 
his videos um, edited and stuff of his uh, can flame wheel it runs on YouTube. I lied, I was thinking Destiny 2, but I also have 663 out. Risk of Rain 2, what's that? And Destiny 2? Are you a big MMO fan? I've never heard of Risk of Rain. Zedekus Zul Zrand. I love Zedekus. His name is just fucking cool. How much do I have to donate for you to play Hellblade? Nothing? Cause that's a hell no? <laughs> I'm kidding. I don't know what that is. Is that that Senua Sacrifice game? Cause I watched... If that's the one you're talking about, I watched someone attempt it and it looked way too hard for me. I got 1.6k hours on for Honor and PS4. Nice! Damn, that's a lot. I don't want to even know how many hours I have on Elder Scrolls Online on my PS4. Ruben, if he's traveling incognito. <laughs> I love that you included that. <laughs> I also love that he was like kind of for the fancy garb, you know? I need to stream Senua's Sacrifice. The story's so good, but I never got the true ending. There's a true ending? That game just seems really hard. I don't know if I, I would be into it. Mm -mm. I spilled chai on my face. And in my hair pokes OBS. Is it fucking up? Is it fucking up? I've been playing it, it's crazy, and I'm like really good at video games, so it's hard. See, now, what the hell? <laughs> There's a hair in my mouth. If, listen, and I know you're good at video games, so like I trust that, and that's, that's another hail nah for me, fam, because if you're struggling with it, how the hell do you expect me to do it? <laughs> Sir, this is a Wendy's. <laughs> All right, y'all. It's kind of tough, yeah, it's about mental illness and the devs worked really hard to create an accurate representation. Well, that's not the, um, I'm sure that's tough for a lot of folks, but that's not the, the tough part for me. I'm, I'm just talking about like mechanics wise seems really tough. I actually don't get, there's nothing wrong with anyone having, you know, like triggers for different stuff with mental health. Um, I don't have any mental health triggers, so that kind of stuff doesn't bother me in the slightest. Um, but the gameplay looks really hard. <laughs> it's really good though, but like, but the, this, this is me we're talking about. Hi, Oren, how are you? How's it going? How, how was your stream today? I was lurking for a little bit in there, in the beginning. <laughs> I haven't finished my chai. It's just sitting here, I'm gonna drink it. Oh no, I mean that Sinew has mental health issues and the game is about conveying kind of what it's like. Yeah. Yeah, I actually, um, the person that I watched play it, her name is Such a Stray, and she's actually, like, a very good friend of mine. I fucking adore her. Um, hello? Um, she's the one I watched attempt to play it, and so I did have kind of, like, a general idea of what it was about, but, um, it's just, like, the mechanics of it seem really complicated. Da, 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 da. You can put it on easy, but but their version of easy, if that's a thing, is like really hard. <laughs> Zed, don't make me suffer. Doing good, stream was fun, good laughs with friends, and after that, lots of laughs with Gardic Phone. Oh my god. Oh, I've never seen anything about Gardic Phone, but it sounds like chaos. You think? See, you're not even sure. Zed, Zed, Zed. 
You gotta give me facts. <laughs> Zed, I love you. You're awesome. It's great chaos. I bet. I bet. Is it one of those like community games? I have flame stream. I, I feel so bad. My phone's like super low on battery. All right, friends. Um, we're gonna call it there today. I was very glad to still be able to stream. I was contemplating not streaming just because of the nature of the IRL stuff today. But uh, thanks for the stream. Glad I could be here while I were lazy. Thanks for your. Th I don't even know you were still here. Thanks for being here. I hope the rest of your work shift goes well, and that you have a good night or day, whatever time it is for you. I'll do some research and report back to you. Zed, I love you. You're the best. You're the best. You the heckin' bet. Zed is one of my IRL friends, and he's like seriously the best bean ever. Mm -hmm. Sorry, I'm back, beans. Hi, Vandrius! Welcome back. We're gonna be ending in a second. I'm gonna raid Flame. Papa Flame. Grandpa Flame. Daddy Flame. <laughs> um, the next stream. Welcome back, Magni! Uh, next stream will be on Monday with some more Skyrim from Bethesda. And uh, I don't know what I'm doing. Well, I'm gonna finish the Thieves Guild because I ended like right where we were supposed to finish it. <laughs> Cliffhanger. Um, so that will be the next stream officially. Um, tonight is the final. Hi, Port! <laughs> Murder! Uh, tonight is the final night slash day um, to vote for the next game we play on Thursdays and Fridays. And it's a sub perk only, so if you are a subscriber, and you have not yet voted, make sure to go do so, if you care. <laughs> Yay, thanks for posting the Discord link! Um, the subscriber's choice channel will only show if you are a Twitch subscriber and you have your Discord and your Twitch accounts linked. Um, I will be ending the voting process at 8 p.m. Mountain Standard Time, so that's in roughly what is that? Like three hours and 20 minutes from now? From now? I can't join Discord. Why? You should be able to join the Discord. I don't have any blocks on it. Is the link not working? I heard there were some stars to get here. Did you host? I don't have... I don't have... Um, my fucking host alerts don't work. The only star I see is you. Stop it. Stop it. <laughs> Poor, you're a star. Hold on, here, I'll give you a star. I need to, I really need to figure out how to get my alerts working for hosts. I don't know why they're not working. It makes zero sense. And it's kind of rude. You can't click it? Um, there's additional links to the Discord on my profile. You can try one of those ones. I'm not sure why that's not working for you. I don't have any blocks on it. There you go. Smooth? What did I do? <laughs> Damn it! Hello? Okay, well, I think I sp spelled Vandris's emo wrong. I suck. Yeah, I'm sorry. I don't know why that's not working. Um, if that link doesn't work for anyone else, let me know. <laughs> it's supposed to work. I'm gonna... Oh, shit. I'm gonna post my socials, if anyone cares. There's the socials. I'm trying to remember what else here. It should be working. Yeah, it should be. I don't know why it's... I mean, it could just be a chat thing. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Am I missing anything else? Oh, um, 
if Pokemon Diamond wins the voting process, because that is the one winning at the moment, unless something un overtakes it, um, I will be starting that game regardless. Uh, I will be starting the next new game regardless on Thursday next week, but if it happens to be Pokemon Diamond, I am no longer going to promise that it is going to be a first playthrough. And I hope y'all forgive me because I have been staring at that Pokemon Diamond logo on my Switch since last night at 10.30 p.m. <laughs> and I am, I am struggling. <laughs> <laughs> like absolutely struggling not to play it so if it wins we'll play it regardless but I won't promise a first playthrough anymore because I don't know if I can do it I don't know you joined yay it worked hell yeah sorry about the mishap I don't know why it wasn't working um is there anything else is that it I really flabbergasted today forgive me my brain is all over the place I'm gonna set up this raid this heckin raid here's the raid message for subscribers I have to copy that myself as well OBS hello OBS hello thank you Vandris thank you Vandris thank you for being here Vandris I love you everyone I love you you're the heckin best I'm trying to copy my own raid message I don't know what I'm doing. I didn't claim to know what I was doing. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Yay, if you are a subscriber, make sure to copy the raid message that has all the Nelson emotes in it. If you're a follower and you're not subscribed, make sure to copy the other raid message. Um, show Flame lots of love. He's amazing. He's a lovely bean. Um, I hope you all have a lovely Friday. And uh, remember to drink water. And do, uh, have some food. Emerald! I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I won't be streaming again till Monday, but it's lovely to meet you. I'm so sorry. I hope you have a lovely day slash night, depending on your time zone. I I'm very sorry. I was still glad to meet you, even if it was too late. <laughs> Have a good weekend, everyone. Goodbye.